Hey everyone, this is Satyam and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is yet another driving video where I will be driving in traffic on the main road as well as in traffic in a narrow gully. So you'll get a comparison between the two and the technicalities which comes into play while we drive in these two different situations. So here you can see that I'm driving on the third gear as there is nothing ahead of me. So when the road is almost empty, you can uh, increase the speed of the car. And here you saw that this particular black colored thar, it overtook my vehicle from the left hand side. So you have to be very cautious of all those vehicles who overtake your vehicle from the left hand side because there are high chances of a collision or any kind of accident. Now here comes a situation where there is a traffic jam. So in case of a traffic jam, you have to quickly change the gears like I am changing from 3rd to 2nd, 2nd to 1st and I have come to a completely halt position. And from here again, I will be slowly, slowly increasing the speed uh, to 1st gear and I will be moving. So in case of a traffic, uh, you have to drive in lower gears like mostly 1 or 2 and um, then you will be able uh, to focus on the road and drive through the traffic moreover in case you want to change the lane then do that by pressing the indicator and do not change your lane too many times and also maintain good distance from the vehicle ahead of you one of you asked me in the comment section like is there a particular rule uh, to drive near a heavy vehicle so the answer is no you just have to maintain proper left or right hand side uh, distance and then you can drive uh, like easily uh, beside a heavy vehicle also you can see that one is present ahead of my car so well the best way to drive in traffic is to make your way through it and here the traffic police has stopped my car and other cars for this truck to pass so such kind of situation keeps on arising on the road where you have to suddenly lower down the speed and again you have to increase your speed as per the density of the traffic so here comes another situation on the road now this particular maroon car has to make a u-turn so i have quickly reduced my uh, car's gear from third to second second to first and i've come to a halt position i'll allow it to make a u-turn and again i'll start moving so be ready to face such kind of situations on the road and here you can see that i have come to a halt position because i was correct on my path i have to make a left turn but this bus it suddenly stopped midway on the road and passengers started getting down so i had to wait for them to get down and now i'm making a left turn and i'm entering a narrow gully so here you can see that the vehicles are coming from the other side and the space on the road is very less and there are also bikers towards the left hand side of my vehicle and there are houses and shops so there has to be a proper left and right judgment as well as front judgment to drive in such kind of situations if the judgment goes wrong at any point, there can be accidents or collisions. So if you are a beginner, then consider driving in such areas, uh, in such narrow gullies, because they'll help you boost your confidence and give you an idea how you have to drive uh, with proper left and right and front judgment. And then uh, like you will be able to drive properly on the main road uh, in heavy traffic. So the next thing that you should take care of is the speed of the car. Drive at an optimum speed. Drive on first gear or second gear and do not increase the speed while driving in narrow gullies. So now a situation will arise when suddenly this black colored car appeared from nowhere and I had to reduce the speed of my car and again I increased the speed and moved on. So such kind of situations they keep on arising uh, while we drive in a narrow gully or on the main road or in different kinds of situations. So keep practi uh, practicing guys and practice will definitely uh, help you boost your confidence and in case of any doubt please post that in the comment section and i'll come up with an answer so this is it for today's video and i'll see you in my next video till then stay tuned keep watching keep smiling bye bye take care